This presentation is for Grade 8 Physics, Electricity. This will be presented by yours truly, Victoria Altaniedo, your science teacher, in collaboration with Ms. Olivia Aguila, our FSL interpreter. Start with, our objectives are the following. Number one, define electricity. Next, discuss the current voltage and resistance. To start with, I want you to observe the given pictures. Yes, they are all appliances found at home. Have you ever think how does it work? They work because of electricity. Electricity is a movement of charged atomic particles called electron. Electron is found in an atom. An atom is the smallest particle of a matter. If you remember in your grade 7, you have your atom and it is consists of subatomic particle. Inside an atom, you have your nucleus. The nucleus contains proton, the positive charge, and neutron, no charge. Electron is located outside the nucleus. The flow of the electrons can be seen in a simple circuit. A simple circuit is a closed loop of a conductor that electrons can travel around, usually consisting of a power source, a battery for example, and an electrical component or device, like a resistor or a light bulb, and conducting wire. Simple circuit has three components, the source or the battery, the wire like copper which is a good conductor of electricity, and we have load or bulb. Battery is a chemical device to create force needed to move electrons, while conductors like metal provide path for electrons to flow. If the charge are connected, the electrons will start to move from negative terminal to the positive terminal. Like in this animation, electrons move from negative terminal to the positive terminal. When electric charge move in a wire, we can say electric current flow in a wire. It's like a way of water current flow in a river. Flowing electrons is what we call as current. Again, the flow of the electrons is what we call as current. Current is measured in ampere. Here's the another definition of current. An electric current is the rate of flow of electric charge past a point or region. The flow of charge from one place to another. The force moving electrons is what we call as voltage, and it is measured in volt. Voltage is an electric pressure that causes electric current to flow. Like for example, in this picture, we have every ready battery. It has 1.5 volts and the energizer with 9 volts. In the illustration, the electric current can flow in a wire from one end to another. However, without load, it might cause short circuit. The wire just got hot and the battery goes flat. To do something useful with electric current, we need to put a load that can use the electric current to make something happen. This bulb acts as a resistance that is measured in ohms. Resistance is a measure of the opposition to current flow in an electrical circuit. Resistance is measured in ohms, symbolized by a Greek letter, omega. Now, take a look at this. Yes, you're right. There's no battery. 
If there's no battery, no electricity will flow. Remember the first condition for the current to flow. There's something to make electrons to flow, and that is battery. How about the next picture? Yes, you're right. It is what we called as incomplete circuit or an open circuit. It is a circuit where path has been interrupted or open at some point so that the current will not flow. This makes a complete circuit. It has battery or the source, wire, and we have a load. And it is connected one end to another. Take time to ponder. Number one, what do you think might happen in the lights if we add more battery in the circuit? Next, number two, what happens to the current in the circuit when more bulbs are added?